Hi folks, welcome to Medium Rare where I serve up my VR sculpting workflow in tiny bite sized chunks. This episode is called What's My Takeaway? The Simple Power of Subtraction Modeling. And here's a quick look at what we're going to make. For complex designs such as this, we want to look at them and break them down into small digestible chunks. For example, the cranium here with a cut the ear muff, the wing, the bottom half of the jaw. I actually built these two parts as the same piece and then subtracted from them as well. I find subtractive techniques incredibly useful for making hard surface objects. To show you, I'll just go through a couple of them. Let's take a really easy piece first, the ear muff. That's super simple. So add a new layer. Make it about the size of the thing we're about to make. Right, quickly. It's a chopped off cone. So we're just going to go primitives. Find a nice cone. Nice cone. And then we're going to go angle snap. So that I can keep, keep it, it 90 degrees. Obviously, <laughs> when I was making it at first, I didn't have that one there. Now we could change it to any shape with a flat bottom, but we'll just keep it itself. And uh, then it also has a little tiny um, rectangle cut out of it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to square. And then we're going to put on line for this one. Oops, I've got it on single, which is normally better for a subtractive, but not in this case, we're putting it to continuous. Not deep enough. Never be afraid to undo. Too high. Done. There we go. I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. can see it's too deep here. Now I'm just going to use the move. Box, full strength and an inner radius. Switch off mirror quickly. Delete that one. Options, duplicate, flip. Select them both and merge. Okay. So that was the simplest possible version of the technique. Let's look at a slightly more complex one. This wing piece now. I'm looking at it and I'm trying to figure exactly how I would make that and how it's what actual shape it is. And I'm looking at it and what I see is I see a very small segment of a very big cone, a hollow cone. So that's exactly what I'm going to make. Grid snap and angle snap so that I can place a cone. Let's go with the cone again. I want a single. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to manipulate. I'm going to move it up in space. Yeah, no. I'm going to make sure it's in the object I just made. Now, I want it about the same thickness. <laughs> I want it a decent thickness. So I'm looking here to judge how thick this is. Select this one, select this one, actions, subtract. Now I have a hollow cone. So 
now the pangle snap set to a lower. I'm going to try and judge. Okay, that's not bad, but I'm going to switch off angle snap and just do this bit by eye. Do you know what? I think I've given it too much thickness. Um, so what we can do is we can just duplicate it out. Yep, that'll do. I'm just checking that mirror's on and in the correct place. Yes, okay. Now, I hate these ones because So it's all angular. I'm just going to start with a big cube because it's the easiest. Make sure it's on single. Then this is angled that way and tilted that way. And you get, you can see where the line is just right here okay you can see that isn't quite right so I'm just going to switch off angle snap What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my strength in my radius up. I'm going to grab this piece here. I'm just going to drag it back and up like that. Oh, not really. <sighs> so I'll put this on the wrong layer. It's on the same layer as the earmuff. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The earmuff's easy. Now you can see there's actually a cylindrical part cut from the face of this. You could cut the edges off with just a cube. Now, I know I haven't fixed that part, we'll get there. This part underneath, I'm going to duplicate, duplicate, hide one, 
and then I'm just going to use this cube and we'll delete the parts that are not required and then single So I'm just going to use move, full strength, full inner, and 90 degrees on angle snap, and very gently push them together. Any different here? Just tilt it in. So we can just go. Here's one I made earlier. So these are just little cubes drawn with line, duplicated and then evenly spaced. Just moving them using 100% on both. Select the big one, select the one, subtract. We have these being shown there. So there we go. There we go. So something like this part, I don't think I would use subtractive modeling for this. I would most likely just pop a line in and then bend it into shape using move. Something like that. Obviously, none of this is finalized yet. Um, those final shapes, the kind of grill shapes out there, um, I'll just subtract them. Um, the letters, the letter L, small letter L. That's exactly what we're looking for there. There we go. Beautiful shape this one. Love it. And go. Never be afraid to undo. Just saving and then loading the material properties.
okay, so it's not perfect, but I think you get the picture of how these things can be done. And after this, it's obviously merge and then smooth with fill. Okay, so a quick recap. Step one, analyze the design. Break the design down into small chunks that can be made by subtracting basic primitives. This becomes easier with practice. Step two, using clay, place your primary stamp. That's it. Step three, choose your secondary stamp. This will generally be a cube or other hard surface shape. Step four, use the toggles if helpful. The grid and the angle snap can be a great deal of help in order to maintain alignment of hard surface parts. Step five, subtract. Adjust your clay settings, choosing a relevant stroke type and constraint or steady stroke, only if they will help, obviously. Undo if needed, never be afraid to undo. And finally, step six, repeat. Repeat each of these steps for each of the chunks within the design. Ta-da! Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found it useful, informative, and that you find a way of using it in your own workflow. And if you liked it, hit like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.